I'll be talking to the kids on the tot slot. We're we'll building Ted Heath from the yacht slot on the hot slot, and of course, the Gonji game show snot slot. But first, the pop slot. You do talk some crap. <laughs> Bad's there with one of his fans. But now it's time for the guest slot, and today it's Nick Conway. Hi, it's really great to be here. Well, it's great to have you with us, Nick. Nick, of course, is famous for starring in Bread, but he's released a new single called... Our Love's Gone Stale. <laughs> Take it away, Nick! <laughs> but first, but more important, me. And over here, the utterly, 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 utterly brilliant Gunji Game Show, Snot Slot. I prefer Countdown. <laughs> Our contestant has to crawl around in the snot and try to pick the giant bogey out of the nose in the pool. While this happens, I'll be throwing buckets of mucus all over him. Bring back Valerie Singleton. All is forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are again. And this time, Nick Conway really is going to sing his latest single, Our Love's Gone but not before. Oh. But not before the Buzz Pot's in-depth celebrity interview. Anyone got any questions? Yeah, I've got one. Are your lyrics influenced by Nietzsche or Freud? <laughs> right, okay. The question was, um, what's your favourite hobby? Tossing. <laughs> what do you mean? We'll show you. But guys, guys, I'm all right. I'm trying to interrupt. No, no. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, you know what, Whimsy? Foreign football is a bloody useless. <laughs> what a crack of bigot. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> In fact, all foreigners are useless. <laughs> Another cracker, you're an absolute genius bigot. And socialists. <laughs> and women. <laughs> Another cracker. <laughs> and you. <laughs> It was cup competition today in football, and in the Equinox double glazing and accidental cup first round, there were some surprises. Pronto Printer Quick League's Upper Bucklebury hold Arsenal to a 4-0 defeat, while in the Phonerod Sump Clearances Challenge, Spurs are safely through to the third round as their biggest rivals, Perfect Pan Pizza League giant killer, Kidderminster Harriers, penalties defeat by Maxwell's Financial Investments and Loans Consultancy Division winners today. And Justin, Leeds United have just won 5-0. Their centre forward, Lee Chapman, scored a hat-trick. Yes, OK. <laughs> Their brilliant centre forward, the Jerome <laughs> Five. The Strong Five 
the firm Booker Sex Guard of the first Division League Chapman scored a phenomenal hat trick. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Oh, hi, Rocky. Hey, what's the matter? Oh, it's Randy, my kid brother. I'm worried about him. You know how much the surfing trials mean to him. Uh-huh. He's so naive, Rocky. I'm afraid he'll do anything to get through those trials. Uh-huh. Oh, Rocky, I think he's taking steroids. But that's not... The American way, Sandy. I know. Besides, he'll get caught. Oh, Rocky. Will you talk to him? Talk to me about what, suckers? Randy. Randy! Listen, Randy. I think we should have a talk. Yeah? About what, dog breath? About drugs, buddy. They screw you up. Yeah? Yeah. Believe me, Randy. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Stars in Their Own Eyes, where tonight we'll be meeting Tony Jones, a plumber who wants to be Warren Beatty. <laughs> Sally Mason, a nurse who wants to have Warren Beatty. And Warren Beatty, who wants to become Gerald Grinthorpe, a bank clerk from Surrey. <laughs> but first up, we have with us another guest who obviously isn't happy with herself. Will you please welcome Sharon Mintz? Hello, Sharon. Hello, Lenny. Now, Sharon, you wrote to us and told us about your star choice. You know, we've had literally thousands of requests for that same star, but it was your name and your name alone that was picked out of the bag. Before we find out who that star is, perhaps you'd like to tell us a little bit about yourself. As you know, my name's Sharon Mintz with a T-S. I live in Coventry, the dead centre of England. And I work as a telephonist for a computer firm. I don't go out. I haven't got a boyfriend and I really wish I was someone else. Well, that wish will come true. Who are you going to become tonight, Sharon? Tonight, Lenny, I'm going to be Madonna. Sharon Mintz, enter the door of your dreams. Things you wouldn't believe. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John couldn't keep their trousers on. They had a nice party try. They went forth and multiplied. Even Noah on his ark had hanky panky after dark. From South Judea to North Prostatin, in the beginning they were all begetting Romans, Hebrews, Corinthians too. Everyone except you know who. Verily, verily. Welcome to Gotcha. Hello. Now, tonight's victim has absolutely no idea what's about to happen to her. Or not happen. <laughs> Confused? Well, let me explain. <laughs> Our researchers combed through columns and columns of Lonely Hearts ads until we found tonight's contestant. <laughs> and then we hired the a professional actor and ex-male stripper to accidentally meet our lonely heart and take her out. And we've been following them with a secret camera! <laughs> here's Terry! And here's Shirley. Now, we're about to see our would-be lovers bump into each other for the first time, literally. Oh. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. It's not your fault. I'm really sorry. Oh. Yeah. Let me. <laughs> that same night, Terry just happens to go for a drink in a pub that, surprise, surprise, Shirley is also having a drink in. Hey, mate, fight a bit, please. Fight a bit. Hello. You're the girl from the, uh, you are, right? <laughs> Let me buy you a drink. No, no, please, please, I insist. It's the least I can do. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell me you love me. Tell me you love me. Oh, uh. I love you. I love you. <laughs> means is, did she see you coming? <laughs> uh, now shut it, you lot. <laughs> well, I think the best bit was about two weeks later, when we went out to dinner. <laughs> Ready? Terry. Mm. Let's get married. Why? Because I'm pregnant. <laughs> so, Terry, does she suspect anything? No. She fell for it completely. <laughs> well, now we've got another surprise for you, Shirley, because we know you're watching and we've hidden a secret camera in your lounge. <laughs> 